Hi, I am Adewale Adeshino. This session is about customizing Moodle. Themes are a great way of making your Moodle site look attractive and easy to work with. Selecting the right theme can make a big difference in how your site looks and feels. In this video, we'll talk about Moodle themes. Then we'll look at example Moodle sites with different themes and customizations. After this, we'll look at tips for getting the right theme to use. Then we'll look at steps for installing your selected theme. Lastly, we'll look at how to make more advanced customizations. What are themes? Themes provide a skin to completely change the look and feel of a site. Now, how a site looks like depends entirely on the skin or the theme that is applied on that site. So they are essentially visual designs. They dictate the color, the layout, the format of elements on that page or on the site. Themes can be applied on a site level or it can be applied to categories or at cost level or even activity levels. Now there are two broad categories of themes. One, there are the freely available themes. That's themes that have been developed and made available for people to use without any cost. Now these are usually available in the Moodle.org site. There are also premium themes. Now premium themes are not free. You have to pay for them and often uh, some little amount of money can get you a premium theme. And some themes can be also custom built, built specifically for your use depending on your unique requirements. Now this is how a clean installation of Moodle looks like. Now there is no theme applied, it's just the default boost theme of Moodle. No color anywhere, everywhere is just plain looking. Now after you've worked on this site with themes, there is some difference. For instance, look at this site, the Loughborough University site has a kind of purple color scheme applied. So the theme applied here, it's different. It's no more plain looking. Now you also have Open University site. Open University UK is one of the very big users of Moodle and they have several courses available in the site uh, for their students and even for the general public. And this is a theme that is applied on that site. Here is the National Open University of Nigeria site. The Open University of Nigeria is Nigeria's flagship open and distance learning institution in the country. Now look at this site. This is the PeterOkebukola.com site. This site provides online courses for the African Center of Excellence in Innovative and Transformative STEM Education. Looking at all these different sites, it's the same Moodle installation, but you have different themes and customization applied. So it makes them look totally different and you will not even know in some instances that you are using the same learning management system. Now let's look at some tips for selecting a theme. First, it is important to check to see that the theme version you are trying to use matches the version of Moodle you have installed. Some themes may not have up to the latest version and if you are using the up-to-date version, it might not be compatible and you might have problem during installations. So that's the first thing to check. Then you check the latest release date of the theme. This can help you to know if the theme is consistently being worked upon or if it's just a one-time development that is made available there. And if it's a one-time development, new releases are not frequently added, then it's an indication of potential support issues down the line. Another thing to check is how many sites are using these themes. This gives you an idea if many people are downloading and using it, it tells you that probably the theme is good. Note also the number of downloads in the last 90 days. This information are available in the Moodle site and we'll take a look at them in just a few minutes. Then it's also important to see how many users have marked that theme as their favorite. So the more people that say oh, this theme is very good, then the chances are the theme is indeed good. Then you can also scan for comments. Comments are helpful uh, when you are trying to look for uh, difficulties people may have been having using that theme. An important point also is that don't judge 
a team based on mere graphics alone, just because it has a beautiful graphic in the front that is flowing, does not necessarily mean that it will be a good theme for you. Yeah, graphics can be changed, but there are some functionalities that you may need on a theme. If they are not available, uh, you will not find it that interesting. So having said that, let's look at steps for installing Moodle themes. The very first step is step one. Go to the Moodle.org site, click on Downloads, then under the Extend Moodle section, click on Moodle Plugins Directory, after which you filter for the theme plugin type and then you select and download the theme after you have looked at it. So let's carry out step one. Let's go to the www.moodle.org site. So here is the moodle.org site. Then we go to the section for downloads. Click on downloads and then scroll down to the section where it says extend Moodle. Here it says browse our extensive Moodle plugins directory for extra activities, blocks, themes, and more. Here we're interested just in themes, so we just click on themes. Here is the themes page. Our themes provide that skin to change the look and feel for Moodle. So we can scroll down and see several themes available here for free to be downloaded and used in the site. Let's take the first one for instance. We have the adaptable theme. So here is highly customizable, responsive, two columns team designed for use for both universities and small training companies. I uh, hear it's 17,398 sites that are using this team. This is pretty large. And then you have 19,000 downloads. 489 persons have marked this team as being their favorite. But there's a problem here. The latest release for this theme is December 10, 2019. And you recall that Moodle version comes in very, very regularly. Uh, we are at the moment on Moodle 3.9. And the last we have here is 3.8. So this might not be a theme for me to install at the moment. Then you have another one, Essential. This one stopped at Moodle 3.6. Uh, I might not want to risk installing that. Coming over to Move. I can see here it has a good following too. Uh, 13,000 plus sites have used it, 35,000 downloads, uh, 330 persons have marked it as favorite. And I can see that it has up to Moodle 3.9. So this is probably a team I might want to look at. I look at it, different features, and if it's okay, I can click in to see more of the team. So looking at it, the information is there and it seems pretty okay so i can look at the statistics and the different versions and transformations but i'll just go ahead and download it so i click on download okay it's downloaded now moving on to step two step two says open the theme folder of your site and you can do that by logging into the web host account that we have registered I'll go to advanced click on file manager we visit the public html directory and then click on the Moodle directory where we have Moodle installed and then select theme. So let's go right ahead and do this. So we click on our Bluehost site. Okay, this is the Bluehost site. So we click on login and then enter our account details. I've already entered this, so I'll just click on login. Okay, after login in, we'll simply go to advanced. Advanced takes me to the control panel of the site. Then I look for the file manager. So clicking on the file manager takes me to where I can see the list of files on the site. Then the next place I go to is the public HTML. I remember we've looked through the different directory structure for Moodle. Now inside the public HTML, search for the Moodle directory where you have Moodle installed. So here we are inside the directory that has Moodle. You will know this because you see things like admin, analytics, uh, auth for authentication, and many more. So scroll down to where you will see theme. Here we are at theme. Yeah, so this concludes step two. We'll now move on to the very third step, which says upload and extract the downloaded Moodle file. 
so I'm back in my theme folder so in this theme folder I already have three themes there you have the boost theme the classic the eguru theme so I'm going to upload the new theme that has been downloaded so click on upload okay so it says drop the files here to start uploading so I check my file system and see the move theme that I've just downloaded so I drag it down and wait for the uploading to complete the upload is 100% completed so I go back to the control panel I do a quick refresh and I see that I have here my theme move uploaded so the next thing is to extract this theme to extract I right click on the theme file the zip file and click on extract it tells me it wants to extract to this folder just click yes extract and it tells me it's finished so click on close and if you refresh one more time you will see that the move theme has been successfully extracted here the folder is here ready for us to use now let's move on to step four now in step four we go to the theme selector page on our Moodle site to do that we have to first go to site administration we select appearance and under appearance we click on themes and then select theme selector so this is the site where I have my plain installation of Moodle so I sign in I have this page that is telling me that I have a current release information and as if I'm doing a Moodle installation from the scratch. Never mind, this is because you have added something to the theme folder and the system discovers that uh, it must do a check before going on. So just click on continue. Now it's doing a plugin check. It's saying it has detected something. It has detected a theme called move and it is to be installed so you have a choice either to cancel the installation or to go on so because i initiated this action i'll just click on upgrade moodle database now here i have it success so it's done uh, that means all is good and i can simply click on continue so immediately it tries to tell me to set up the move team that i've installed to put in the logo and to put in several other things we'll come back to it later so there are several customizations that can be done in this Moodle theme but I'll just go right ahead and say save changes these customizations definitely has to be done sometime down the line but first I need to check what the default theme is and then to make sure that the work installation I've done becomes the default theme. So here again, it tells me some information so I can simply go on. So to get to where the theme settings are, you click on site administration. Under site administration, there is a place for themes and that is under appearance. So click on appearance and under appearance, you can see theme setting, theme selector, and then you can see we have Boost Classic Iguru and the move theme which I uploaded into the site is already listed here. So the next thing to do is just to click on theme selector. So this is a theme selector page. Here you can select the device. You can see that the default theme right now is boost theme. Uh, but this concludes step four. Now let's move on to the next step. Now the next step, which is step five, is clear theme cache. To come back to the site so we are here at the team selector page here we have clear team catch so this clear the team's cache and removes any uh, stored content and makes the site fresh so let's move on to the next step which is click on change team so to click on change team we list all the available teams for default uh, click on use the theme you want to use and then click continue button so we are back at the site let's click on change theme so we want to change the theme what does it tell us it tells us that we have several themes here we have the boost the classic the e-guru theme and then 
we have our move team so this is the team that we want to install so the next thing we'll just click on is use theme clicking on use theme makes this theme the default theme and it changes totally the look and feel of this site so you can begin to see already that the site is changing i have a new outlook the fonts have changed and contact information is all here and so i can begin to work on this theme to make further changes just click on site administration and go to appearance and then you select your theme the move theme and then you can make further changes for instance you can now add in a logo you can add in a custom flavicon and several other configurations even the brand color so you can change to the color that you want and then you have a fresh new theme done so click on save changes and then go to dashboard here is the dashboard and here is the site home so i've been able to change the look and feel of this site by applying a new theme and i can begin to customize the color and make it look beautiful add graphics and things like that so that is how you can get a Moodle team installed and change the look and feel of your site. Thank you.